Hi, this is Talkie Toaster. This little video is going to show you how to install the, the free standard maps for Basecamp on a Mac. The first things you're going to need, which I'll cover in the, at the start of this video, in the prerequisites, is obviously a copy of the maps. You need a copy of Basecamp if you haven't already installed it and you'll need a tool called Map Install and Map Manager and I'll cover these as we go through the video. So the first thing you need to do is obviously go to my website which is talkytoaster.co.uk. If you go to the, the Maps entry you want to go to British Isles, go to the British Isles and Ireland and then you want to scroll down. And you want to scroll down to the entry that says uh, it's the version for map source. So here we have map source for use with Mac, road, trap, road trip or base camp only. Click on the download and once you've done that, um, you'll have the file ready to go. You'll obviously now need to make sure you've got base camp. So let's move to base camp. Here's the link to the base camp site. As you can see, just like on the Windows, you can actually download and you can find out more about Basecamp here, including tutorials how to use it, how to actually upload and download tracks and routes to your system uh, between your Garmin and the Mac, and also do various other things like geotag photos. You can create and share adventures. But what you're really here for is this point here, the Mac download. So you want to actually download, this is a DMG, a standard Mac installation package. Once you've ins installed that, it needs OS 10. 10.10 or higher. So if you've got a fairly up-to-date version of the Mac running OS 10, then you should be fine. Once you've done that, you'll also need to obviously ensure that you installed it uh, so it's ready to, for the map to be installed into. And you want to go and find this tool here called Map Installer Map Manager for Mac. This is version 4.11, which is the latest version as the time I did this particular video. You download it. You know, you'll need this to actually do the install. Again, download and install it. Install it. Once it's done, then we can go, go ahead and actually try to install the map. So let's assume you've already done that. So you've downloaded all the files, you've installed all the relevant bits, and now you want to install the map, the map file. So let's go to Finder. Here's the downloaded map file. As you see it's a gmappy.zip file. This is actually for the Mac. This is downloaded directly from my website and happens to be the latest version at the time of this video. So the 1602.12. To open this file, just double click on it and it'll actually unpack to a folder directly onto the Mac. This takes a little while. And once we've done that, it's very straightforward uh, to actually do the install. It's easier than actually doing it on Windows as long as you have all the relevant tools installed. So let's give that just a few seconds to complete. And once that's done, we'll go through the next steps. Okay, as you now see, we have, in fact, not just a folder, it actually recognizes a GMAPI file. Now, this is what we need to know um, because when we double click on this, it will automatically run the map install tool. So if we double click on this, what, we should, what should happen is that the tool will load. Here we go. And it says install these maps. As you see, I've got a number of other maps installed already. So you just say install. What a surprise. Very, very straightforward. This is now going to install it into the relevant folders on your Mac. So Basecamp can actually use it. It'll obviously put all the relevant control files in place as well. This takes a few seconds. And once done, we will actually fire up Basecamp so you can see the map inside. It's very straightforward. Um, it seems very complicated, but once you have the right tools, it can be done very, very quickly and very, very easily. Okay, that's done. So if we now close that, and what we want to do is obviously close the Map Manager down. We don't need that. And what we want to do now is find Basecamp. And if we open Basecamp, we will hopefully see the maps installed. Here it loads, okay. So, and here is the map. The map is actually loaded already. 
We know it's the right map because if we actually go to the map list, we'll see it's the TT standard British Isles plus contours map. As you can see, I have a load of others installed. From there, you can obviously uh, zoom in and zoom out and you can see all the detail. Very, very straightforward, very easy to use. You can do, do, uh, can do routing in there. You can actually create routes and tracks and then upload and download them to your Garmin device. I hope you found that useful. Any questions or any suggestions for other videos you might like me to create, please drop me a line. Thank you.